Welcome back to the Learn Dash Bootcamp. So far, we've looked at ways to add content to our courses, create quizzes, sell them, and add user registration. But we haven't focused very much on the front end of things. Depending on the theme you're using and how well it supports Learn Dash, you may be left with a pretty bare bones layout for your courses. But luckily, there's a way that we can fix that with the Learn Dash add on course grid. If we go to Learn Dash add ons, we can scroll until we find the Learn Dash course grid add on. This will allow us to use the Learn Dash course grid shortcode to embed the course grid on any page we'd like. Let's go ahead and install that now. Once it's installed, we can activate it. And once it's activated, we can use the new shortcode on any page we'd like. Let's go to Pages Add New and we'll create a new page called Courses. Then we can add the LD Course List shortcode to our editor and click Publish. Once we do that, we'll go to View Page. And if we view our page on the front end, we'll see a nice grid of courses with thumbnails, buttons, and even a price if there is one. Now the course grid shortcode gives us lots of options to display and sort our courses, but they can be hard to remember. Luckily with the new block editor in WordPress, Learn Dash has us covered. If we remove the shortcode, we can do a search for our blocks. We'll go down to Learn Dash LMS blocks. And there is a block once you activate the course grid add-on called Learn Dash course list that will display the course grid. Over on the right hand side for the block options, we can choose how we want to order our courses, including what we should order them by and whether they should be ordered lowest to highest or highest to lowest. We can choose the number of courses per page if we want to paginate our courses. We can choose to show all the courses or only enrolled or not enrolled courses, as well as if we want to show the content and the thumbnail. We can get rid of the grid completely. We could show the progress bar and we can even change the number of columns. So if we want to have one column or two columns, we can easily do that here. If we click update and view the page again, we'll see the changes that have been made. So that's it for this video. In it, we learned all about the Learn Dash course grid add-on to make a nice looking course listings page.